The state government has announced a $20 million bicycle plan for Perth. More paths will be built along railway lines in a bid to ease congestion and get more people cycling to work. It's a $20 million project which aims to get more people swapping their cars for a bike. So more people are using cycling as a, as a mode of transport. That's fantastic. It's good for congestion, but it's also good for healthy lifestyles. Uh, I think if we can provide better infrastructure, uh, that will certainly underpin that growth. Over the next two years, the state government will build about 15 kilometres of high quality and safer cycle paths across Perth. Cyclists will have access to a new path following Fremantle train line from Grant Street Station and Marine Parade in Cottesloe. Another route will be built between Bassendine Station and Midland and a third between Shenton Park Station and Lock Street in Karakatta. And also work on uh, the Mitchell Freeway in particular, uh, the cycle path that goes along the Mitchell Freeway uh, from Glendalow uh, through to the Rowe Highway, so, or sorry, the Reed Highway. Playing catch up with our funding for cycling here in Western Australia, the government have, have, have underfunded it for a number of years now. But this is a really great start and hopefully it's going to be an ongoing commitment from the government. The opposition says it's just another Band-Aid solution that won't solve Perth's traffic congestion crisis. But they still don't understand the magnitude of the problem that we're facing. We don't have enough rail cars, we don't have enough buses, and we simply don't have the investment in cycling infrastructure to meet the future demand. Work is expected to begin in the next few months. S.E. Deves, 10 News.